I'm an educator, so sorry all of you people that have bad experiences with your education. I didn't do it to you. Um, if you were my student, you probably enjoyed it. So uh, I'll get into it. Uh, so first, getting hired is not the end of your education. You guys are working with people throughout their whole lives while they're working with you. And we think of education as you graduate, you're done, now you go on and work, right? Wrong. You are doing more education, more learning in the rest of your time. Because when you're in K-12, you're learning social skills, you're learning how to do fun things with teamwork, how to build basic arithmetic skills. Then when you get to higher education, you're spending maybe a little bit of your time learning specific careers, otherwise you're learning sociology, psychology, and you go, why am I learning this? You only spend a couple years actually learning your career. Contrast that with you're gonna be spending about 50 years of your work time in your life. Okay, that's much more than those 18 years of formal education than you started with. And if you only come in with only two to four years of about career specific education, that's really not enough. You need more. Now, when you get a new hire, you're expecting them to have all those job skills, all the education requirements that you asked of them. They're actually coming in expecting you're gonna be teaching them more. That's what they think. They are not expecting to go, I'm done learning. They're expecting more. And many of the careers like this above, where a person's working on assembly line, the numbers of those jobs are going down. We're having more dynamic types of jobs, more jobs that are crossing multiple areas, and a lot more flexibility is involved, which means more learning. And so all of your current employees, your future employees, because I'm working with them right now, they are expecting career development, professional development from you. They want your help with it. And now, all careers are affected by this. If you think there are uh, careers out there like plumbing, electrician, that they don't need education, high, uh, growth, continuing education, that's wrong. There's tons of factors involved that require it. Uh, efficiency, data, all these things want you to be upgrading what your employees know. And I'm not talking about when they go and get their software upgrade from IT once a year and they have to re-image computers and all do that fun stuff and let IT take over it. It's upgrading their skills. And when you educate your employees and help them advance, you're protecting your industry, your business, from the eventual change and disruption that's coming because you have more dynamic employees that can help you. So what that means is go back to your employer, go back to your uh, employees and tell them, we're going back to school. And I'm not talking about sit down, watch a, a little presentation, answer three multiple choice questions and call it good. Actual academic rigor. And there's a lot of options. You have your formal education, two and four year schools. You have workshops, you have uh, short certifications. There are people that can come to your uh, place of business and help your employees grow. And that's half the battle. The other half is, how do you get them to actually want to do it? You, you know, some will just jump right in. The others, they need some type of incentive. They need something to pull them into wanting to grow. And the number one form of incentive is money. Help them with money, either helping to pay the cost of education in some way, or give them a bonus for completing certifications, those types of things. Um, that really does make a big difference. But money isn't everything to people. A lot of people just want praise. They want acknowledgement. If the CEO comes down and says, I heard you got a new certification, that is wonderful. That makes a big difference to employees. You don't need to offer them a $500 check, although that does help. So others want responsibility. In most positions, there's a lot of uh, upward growth that doesn't actually mean a whole new level of position. So give them some new responsibilities. Give them something that they can do that they couldn't do before. But then there is also jumping from fishbowl to fishbowl, working on the floor, going to management, upper management. Give them a path to growth. You set me up so well on, this, on the last one. Upward, man, upward growth is huge for people. And you just gotta give them pass. Not everybody wants 
to go and do a formal two- and four-year education. Give them an option. Many of them are afraid to go back to school. Maybe they never did anything after K-12. And if you do not do this, you are going to lose some employees. And you're not going to lose employees that you go, oh, that'd be okay if they left. You're going to lose the employees that are your best and brightest because they want to advance. And ultimately, you want happy employees because happy employees makes you more prosperous, makes your business go up, and then the employees prosper as well. So it's a win-win for everybody. So that's my spiel.